My nose is itchy, but now's not the time to scratch it. <laughs> so you look great. So you've been all over the place, Toronto, VMAs. Yeah. What's it like being the leading lady? How are you how are you handling it? Um I don't know. I'm uh, just this is I'm freaking out a little bit. It's very insane. Uh -huh. It's pretty it's been fun. As we talked about, you said you were kind of nervous to take this on. You like weren't sleeping fully. Yeah. How did you get over the nerves and, and get down to business? Um, well, it was, you know, I had to do my job. But between each take, I was still kind of freaking out. So it's insane to be here right now. Your character in the movie is so like self-assured and brassy. Do you feel like you're that way in real life? I don't know if I'm self-assured, but I'm kind of brassy. Really? <laughs> I'm sequining. Right. Tonight. <laughs> um, tell me about, you've been busy working and filming Friends with Benefits and The Help. Yep. How are you balancing all this stuff? I'm just taking it day by day. That's my new thing. I'm trying to keep perspective. My new thing. Right. What about the fact that this is uh, you know, high school comedy, there's not so many out there. Where do you think this fits into the landscape of, of film? I don't know exactly. I mean, I think it's uh, relatively truthful and uh, um, it's a little bit of a time capsule because it's very 2010. So, you know, maybe it'll just be a nice example of what it was like to go to high school in 2010 with Twitter and Facebook and all that fun stuff. Do you think there are enough smart, kind of sassy roles out there for young actresses? No, keep writing them. That's all I have to say. <laughs> I hope there will be billions one day. Great, well, thanks so much.